In this video, we'll show you how to use the Radeon ProRender plugin in Houdini using LOPS. Radeon ProRender utilizes Houdini's Solaris tools and LOPS, or Lighting Operator nodes, which work to generate and modify Universal Scene Description, or USD, based scenes. Seasoned Houdini users are familiar with Pixar's USD system and framework, but explaining it in and of itself as its own video, so we won't be getting into it here. But because Radeon ProRender runs using this system, it doesn't work with basic ROPs or render operators in the object network. So we'll be using LOPS to demonstrate how to utilize the plugin. Now there are several workflows that allow you to use the plugin. Once you've opened Houdini, you'll notice that the Houdini desktop interface is set to build by default. Go to build, your currently active desktop, and select the Solaris desktop option. This will change Houdini's desktop to the stage network, as well as open the scene graph tree and scene graph details panes. Now in your 3D viewport's perspective view, find and select the RPR option to make it the active renderer. Another way to utilize RPR's features is to simply switch from the object network to the stage network from the network view pane. Once again, setting the active renderer to RPR in the perspective menu. You can also create a LOP network node inside your object network if you aren't working entirely in RPR to create your scene. Press tab and type LOP network to add the node and double click it to go inside. You perhaps noticed that there were objects in my object network that didn't transfer over to my LOP network. That's because I will need to import them. We'll talk about the scene import node a little later in this tutorial. Now, to confirm that my viewport with RPR set as the active render is working, I'll add some basic objects. I'll place a grid node, scale it down, as well as add a sphere node, and raise it above the grid node. I will also add a light, raise that as well. Then I'll change the light intensity as well as change the color. Okay, it seems our viewport is in working order. Now that we have a basic understanding of how to use the RPR plugin in LOPS, how do we prepare a node tree for export? In the next step of this tutorial, I'll show you how to do just that.